What's up, YouTube fam? So today I want to do a video on uh, my backstory, okay? Um, so, you know, just give you a little rundown of everything, uh, you know, leading up to how I got into the lawn and landscape business and, um, you know, plans for other businesses to venture into here before long, hopefully, um, as well. So, uh, let's go. So I originally... Uh, out of high school, I went into college. I was going to do computer repair. Uh, I took some stuff through high school and at a technical school to be a computer IT, and that's the route I thought I was going to go. Um, I got into college and realized that a lot of the courses I was taking uh, were dumbed down to what I'd previously learned, and I just lost interest in it. Uh, there wasn't really any jobs in my area. I'd have to move off to some big city. And I just didn't want to do that. Not at my age, not at 18, 19. So I said, forget it. And uh, I actually changed my major a few times um, to different little things. Uh, but I didn't finish. I didn't finish college. And uh, I worked a bunch of different jobs. Uh, I've worked everything from pizza joints to greenhouses to factories. And... Um, it, you know, the whole nine yards. Um, I actually, right out of college, started a computer repair business. I had a few people that would call me up. I'd remove viruses or replace their computer screen. And that little business, I thought, okay, that'll take off. Uh, that'll be something cool. It's kind of what I wanted to do. Um, but it didn't, it just, you know, it fell off, right? Like, we're in the day and age now that most people their cell phone breaks, their computer breaks, they go buy another one. You know, they could get a $170 laptop and it'd be just as good uh, as, you know, it'd be better than their old junk one and paying somebody to fix it and for that same amount probably. Uh, Alright, so my second business, uh, you know, I'm a big car guy. I love cars. Um, I actually had a car uh, out of high school. I did some modifications to it um, and uh, I took it to car shows, I went to car meets, I, I went all over, I, I love cars. Um, so I thought, alright, you know, I'll I'll start a business where like I'll paint the engine valve covers or paint parts or, or do stuff like that. And uh, just little things with cars, nothing major, um, but I thought, okay, well, I would enjoy doing that, it'd be something cool. But I got into that and realized quickly that I didn't have... The right tools um, a lot of people uh, you know in my area weren't interested but I had people from out of state like halfway across the country uh, wanting to send me these things and I didn't know a whole lot about shipping and and uh, doing all that and some of what they were wanting done I just didn't have I didn't have the right stuff uh, you know like people wanted hydro dipped uh, parts and I didn't offer that and it was just, to me, just starting out and, and, and everything, I, I didn't know. It was overwhelming. So that business went south. Like, I didn't, you know, it wasn't like a legit business. This was just something I started, you know, in college, you know, Facebook page. Um, so, but that didn't work out. My next business also involved cars, um, auto detailing. Okay, cleaning some cars, doing some headlights. And um, honestly... That one wasn't so bad. Um, you know, I never really made, I never really expanded it or, or grew it to like I wanted. Um, but like the customers were there. Uh, the moment I put it on the internet, I started getting calls. Uh, I, I moved, you know, we had a, I lived in an apartment. Uh, we moved around uh, to a couple of different places before we got uh, our house where we are now and so um, a couple of them places didn't really have a spot for me to wash the cars uh, I didn't have my own garage um, I put it as mobile I, I could come to you um, a lot of people some people were into it some people weren't and everything but um, and actually every now and then I, I kept the same number throughout the years and I don't recommend that um, because I closed the car detailing business uh, but every now and then I'll get a random call still about it. Um, somebody's had my number passed along or something, I don't know. 
Um, but that never really went anywhere. I just did a few things here and there. Um, I enjoyed it, but uh, it never really went to where I wanted it to go. Um, but I also didn't put that whole, a whole lot of effort into it. That was just something for extra money. I also worked jobs at the time, like part-time, full-time jobs, stuff like that. So that was kind of like the side gig and when I could do it, you know. So, um, but that failed. My third business, uh, I, my aunt was a realtor. I still is a realtor. Um, but she had me do some like renovating houses kind of stuff, cleaning them out, junk removal type stuff. And she said that uh, I would go ahead and put me up some business cards, make me a little business, and she put them in her office. And for the other realtors, you know, they need their that house they're selling, you know, they need the gutters clean, something like that, you know, the yard mow, something hauled off the dump. I thought, okay, that's cool, yeah, I definitely. So I made it like a little property service business. And, uh, you know, mowing, landscaping, gutters, uh, pressure washing, you know, junk removal, stuff like that. Um, I really enjoyed that, but like I said, I didn't go into the LLC part. Uh, I didn't, you know, it was still kind of like side gig kind of thing. Just, you know, make some extra cash because I was still in school, you know. And um, after a while, I realized, you know, school wasn't good for me. And so I just went to work in. And I'm still doing that, but that never really took off because, you know, again, I didn't know, you know, with commercial stuff that you had to have, like, all these insurance policies, like a million dollars worth of coverage. I didn't know how any of that worked, uh, all that. Those kind of numbers scared me. I didn't really look into it. It was just a big thing, right? So I just, I, I never, I, you know, I never really did commercial work. I did a few things for some of the realtors. I just, you know, kind of paid me. But not like their business didn't pay me, like the realty office didn't pay me, right? Because I didn't have the insurance. So, you know, I did a lot of little residential work for people. And I really liked that, but I never marketed, so it never really grew. And I was just really tired of working for somebody else. Like, uh, you know, you work for a company and they're like, oh, you'll be able to move up and grow and this and that. And then, like, all these things happen, things change, uh, people get moved around, you interview, you think you're going for the job, you think the interview went great and then you don't get it and you're, you're just stuck again and just feeling miserable. And that's how I felt working for somebody else. I felt miserable. And I'm sure a lot of you feel the same way. It's like a dead-end job. Yeah, like, it sucked. Like, my job necessarily wasn't bad that I had. Like, you know, I'm not going to really complain about the jobs that I had. Like, they weren't really terrible. Um, but just, you know, just wasn't there. The, the money wasn't there that I wanted to make, and I wasn't advancing like I wanted. Uh, you know, like I thought I should be able to. Um, so, yeah. So then my business partner was the same way. Um... He didn't want to work for anybody else. He's tired of it. Uh, we both like working outside. Um, you know, a lawn care business, that's one of the easiest businesses you can start, um, you know, right out the gate. Uh, just about anybody has a lawnmower or a trimmer. Um, same goes for, like, painting. If you're getting into painting, you don't have to have a whole lot of tools other than, like, some brushes, some poles, rollers, you know, to get yourself going. Like... Those are the kind of easy startup businesses. So, um, you know, that's... We went with the lawn care because we like being outside. And so that that's what we're doing today. We're still doing it. We made it official, though, back then, you know, LLC. Um, I actually still worked. Um, we actually both still worked at a regular day job, just part-time, up until, I think, last year. And then we finally went full-time in our lawn and landscape business. Um... And, you know, that's a big step, too, um, because you no longer have that that normal uh, income, you know, like you would with an employer. You have a normal income. You don't have that when you just step away and just go straight to your business. You don't have that. But what it does do is it allows you to focus more on your business and uh, put more effort into it. And you'll actually see yourself grow more by doing that. Uh, so that's a cool thing. So guys, that's my backstory on how I ended up in lawn and landscaping. 
And like I said, I'm going to try and venture out into a couple other businesses uh, because I'm an entrepreneur and I don't, uh, I want multiple streams of income, okay? I want to dabble in a, a few different things. I want the landscape business to be able to operate uh, efficiently by itself and we're not far from that. We're a couple, we're probably a year, maybe two um, from getting that to where we can step back away and don't have to be necessarily in the process but we're getting there and um so follow along uh subscribe and and watch that journey with us um but i'm also going to try and dab into a few other little businesses and um see if i can't get them up and going to i definitely want to get into real estate um you know that's how you make your passive income is airbnb rental property stuff like that so I'll, i eventually want to get into that too uh, that's a little ways down the road, but that's one of the things I want to step into and give it a go. Um, but yeah, that's 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 how it it happened for me. I went through several different businesses, trial and error. I, you know, I didn't go to college. I dropped out of college basically. Uh, I didn't have much to finish uh, for my de the degree I was going for, and um, it was some kind of like. Uh, it wasn't really an engineering thing. It was kind of like a some kind of manufacturer. You go to the college, you get a degree in some kind of like manufacturing thing. It's yeah. You know, I went to community college. I didn't go to no big university. Um, I had a little bit to go before I got the uh, the degree, the associates anyway. But um, they didn't have enough people sign up for that last semester uh, that I registered for. Uh, you had to have at least ten or twelve people sign up. And they only had like, including myself, maybe like four or five. So they decided it'd be better to drop that and have us pick different majors. So that was the main reason that I just stepped away from college and said, screw it, I'm done. I don't need it. You know, I took a couple business classes, but honestly, guys, I learned a lot from YouTube. And so they helped push the drive uh, to get where I am. So, and, and people, if you know somebody, there is no, like, if you know somebody that owns a business or, has been a manager or this and that, you know, just ask them questions, uh, learn. I mean, you don't have to go to school for that. Guys, that's all I got. Um, that is literally, that's pretty well my story. I kind of summed it up some. Uh, I could go on and on, you know, from the time I was little and, and whatnot. But like I said, I always just wanted to be my own boss. That's like, that's, I'm an entrepreneur at heart and that's just, uh, instowed in me or whatever. I just feel like it's a part of me. That's what I needed to do and I'm sure some of you out there feel the same way. Um, like you got that going on and you're like, yeah, I got to get out of my nine to five. Do it. Just do it. Get out there and grind. You can do it. I believe in you. Um, but that's my story, guys. Uh, follow along for more. Um, I enjoy each and every one of you uh, that actually watch the videos and subscribe. And, and comment and I like talking with you guys so be sure to comment uh, I'll try and respond as quick as I can alright guys be safe stay kind out there be kind to one another make the world a better place okay uh, we're in a world full of hate and just a little bit of kindness goes a long way it go a long way in your business it goes a long way in life so remember that so stay safe stay kind till next time peace